We were told three partial meltdowns, don't worry about it. Now we know it was 100% core melt in all three reactors. Um, Japan is by orders of magnitude many times worse than Chernobyl. Never in my life did I think that six nuclear reactors would be at risk. Well, the tip goes like the little Dutch boy. All of a sudden, we have cracks in the dike. You put a finger here, you put a finger there, and all of a sudden, new leaks start to occur, and they're overwhelmed, literally making it up as they go along. We're in totally uncharted territories. You get any nuclear engineering book, look at the last chapter, and this scenario is not contained in the last chapter of any nuclear engineering textbook on the planet Earth. So they're making it up as they go along, and we are the guinea pigs for this science experiment that's taking place. All radiation is damaging, it's cumulative, each dose you get adds to your risk of getting cancer. Within days of the Fukushima Daiichi catastrophe beginning, we were getting uh, fallout coming down in rain in the United States, not in insignificant quantities. And also, of course, the, uh, the seafood, um, not only does the ocean's currents bring the radioactivity this way, but also uh, the sea life itself, the bluefin tuna, uh, migrated from Japan to North America and carried the radioactive cesium in its flesh over here. Wow, not a good time to be eating tuna. The food chain remains contaminated for hundreds or thousands of years and we'll start seeing lung cancer and leukemia, I think two to five years from now. And then solid cancers will start appearing um, 15 to 60, 70 years later. So the ace up the sleeve is, of the nuclear industry is the incubation time for cancer. It takes a long time for cancers to develop once you have inhaled or been exposed to these radioactive elements. And no cancer identifies its origin. And so there is already a level of cancer in society, but it's going to increase dramatically. The problem is not really under control. It will not be under control for, it's estimated, between 40 and 100 years from now. There's no way to clean it up. They say 40 years, but they can't clean it up. They can't. The site's still unstable and vulnerable to natural disasters. If there is another earthquake, a serious one, 6, 7, 8 or 9 magnitude, that would rattle all these tanks, 1,060 tanks. It would rattle the, the, the damaged cores, spent fuel, whose structures have already weakened. Yes. That's a potential very, very serious threat. Approximately 300 tons of water was filtering through the site until early this month, becoming laced with radioactive materials and then seeping into the sea. Another factor is the ever-increasing amount of water accumulating inside damaged infrastructure. Once it makes its way into reactor buildings, it mixes with radioactive isotopes for months, TEPCO workers have been pumping up 400 tons of water every day and storing it in tanks on site. So the, there are 1,060 tanks, stainless steel water tanks, that are holding the water which they keep pumping into the, into the uh, damaged reactors and the uh, uh, spent fuel storage pools. From the air, the scale of the problems at Fukushima become clear. The growing mass of storage tanks now dwarfs the plant itself. More than a million tons of highly radioactive water is now stored here. But the tanks have been hastily built. They're made of steel plates, bolted together, rather than welded. Last week, workers detected a major leak in one of those tanks. About 300 tons of water escaped, releasing several quadrillion becquerels of radioactive particles. Experts have often pointed out how vulnerable they are to damage. The tanks, though, have been put together very quickly. There's no guarantee they'll last. Their seals are made of rubber, and the joints and, and bolts are corroding. And they may last not more than five years. So the tank farm has grown dramatically, and it's on the hill. The 
Of course, the problem is because it's on the hill, the um, water blows down. And if there's an earthquake, all of these pipes are held together with plastic piping. It's not much different than what you've got on a swimming pool. So plastic pipe will, will, will um, snap, and that water will just run right down that roadway directly into the ocean. A study just published by the United States government 
reports the discovery that low-dose radiation is so safe, evacuations from future nuclear disasters may be unnecessary. If another event like Fukushima occurs, the public could be allowed to live in the fallout zones, spared from the inconvenience of relocation and compensation for damages.